Hello again from the campus of the University of Evansville. I'm Tom Kazee, the president. It's a warm Southwest Indiana summer day. There's lots of construction happening on campus this summer thanks to generous contributions from alumni, trustees, corporations, and foundations. Renovations to the interior of the Bauer Sir Heinrich Library and construction of the new McCarthy Greenhouse, which you can see behind me, are well underway. We're very excited about what this will bring to the campus of the university. Follow the University of Evansville on Facebook to see more pictures of the progress on these projects. It's the end of July, which means classes will begin here on campus in about one month. The start of the fall semester here at UE is filled with tradition for students, faculty, and administrators on our campus, and I look forward to seeing many new faces here very soon. Some of those new freshman faces have been quite active already this summer. Members of our Freshman Edge class volunteered at the LST Memorial in Evansville and painted many areas of the ship. Freshman Edge is a unique nine-day summer transition program designed for incoming freshmen who want to begin their college experience with an edge on success. Students take a three-hour college credit course, work closely with UE faculty, experience life in the residence halls, meet upper-class mentors, and make many new friends. The program allows students to ask meaningful questions, make connections, explore campus, and be prepared to make a smooth transition to college. It's a very successful program. As we look forward to the future of the University of Evansville, it's important to remember our past as well. A new documentary named From the Ashes tells the story of the 1977 University of Evansville men's basketball team, the school's first Division I team after nearly three decades as a college division powerhouse. Communications professor Joe Atkinson is currently working with his production company, Court Street Productions, on an independent documentary on the December 13, 1977 plane crash in which the Aces men's basketball team perished. Follow From the Ashes on Facebook for more information. Finally, in February, we'll host a visit with our regional accrediting agency, the Higher Learning Commission, or as we call it, HLC. While here, the HLC representatives will review the institution's ongoing ability to meet the Commission's criteria for accreditation. In preparation for this periodic visit, we're seeking comments from the public about the University of Evansville. I invite you to submit comments by visiting the address on your screen. Comments must address substantive matters related to the quality of our institution and our academic programs. If you prefer to submit comments by mail, a mailing address can be found online as well. Thanks for watching this month, and as always, I'd love to hear your comments about these podcasts or anything on your mind about the university. Please send your feedback to kazee one at evansville.edu, or send me a tweet on my Twitter account, at TomKazee1. See you in August.